Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDC Joe Sword and Shield video. Today, guys, we're looking at another Lapras VMAX deck today. And this Lapras VMAX is going to be a Lapras VMAX Arceus deck with Shedinja to help you out in some pretty cool scenarios. So the whole combo of this deck is we're going to be trying to build up our Lapras through either Arceus or Kyogre if worst case scenario. Of course, Arceus has the attack Trinity Star, which can do 30. And if you have, you can only use the attack if you have Grass Water and Lightning Pokemon in play. So you have to have a Nincada, a Lapras, and a Blitz on play, or, you know, any of those combination to be able to use uh, Trinity Star. It can do 30, which is nice, that extra bit of 30, and we are going to be putting three water energies onto a Lapras, or spread the energy out a little bit more, and we can build up multiple attackers, technically, or set up another attacker to be built up, and uh, we can also then use Shedinja, because we already need the Nincada for a Trinity Star. We can use Shedinja and put on Lapras VMAX. When Lapras VMAX gets knocked out, it's only giving up two prizes instead of one prize for getting knocked out. So that's kind of the, the cool little combo this deck tries to aim for here. Um, is it as efficient as Frost Moth Lapras? Not really. It's still fun to try out. So before we get the video, guys, of course, shout out to our sponsor, Card Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any Peace Joe pack codes, guys, you get them over at Card Cabin. Of course, if you have any Peace Joe codes that you do not need, um, that you don't want to use, you can trade them in a Card Cabin TCG and get some cash or in store credit. Um, of course, you can also get any other pack codes you want at Card Cabin. Also, if you're just looking for any Sword and Shield pack still, um, you get them singly, lots of 50, lots of 100. You can also get any other packs like Unbroken Bonds, Unified Minds, any sleeve codes, any GX codes. Any codes you need, guys, get them over at Cargo and TCG. If you get anything from there, guys, you can use my discount code, code LDF at the checkout for a 5% discount on your purchase, guys. It supports the channel, helps out Cargo Kevin, and helps yourself out, too. So shout out to Cargo TCG, the sponsor. Check them out. Uh, let's take a look at the list here. So this is the list I've got with. Um, it's a pretty cool deck. Now, again, it's a little bit of a slower build because, of course, Trinity Star is an attack. You have to get a good combo to get it going. Now, we do have a lot of ball searches in this deck to help you make sure you're getting all those types in play for Arceus. We got four Great Balls, four Quick Balls, one Pokecom. We have a lot of ball searches, so we should be fine. Um, the Pokecom, by the way, is here for Zipstrika. And yes, we do play Zipstrika. Again, we do need Blitzel in play. Now, obviously, Dedenne also counts for this, too. But a lot of the time, you don't want to have Dedenne in play because, of course, it does give up two prizes. Though, you can put a Shedinja on it, which actually makes it a little bit easier to use. We can also use Sprint, though, if we really have to, um, as an option to draw cards. This could be really good if we maybe get stamped to a low hand size. And since we are to the Blitzel, we might as well play it. Of course, our main attacker is going to be Lapras. We're playing a 3-2 line of Lapras. We don't need any more than two, in my opinion. We have Ordinary Rod, so we're chilling. We can use G-Max Pump. Uh, and again, a lot of the time, we're never trying to one-shot. Like, we're never trying to get, like, eight energy on this thing. We're one-shotting anything. We're mainly just trying to play the two-shot game. Uh, we do have Maulana to heal. Uh, we do have Shedinja, of course, once again, which makes your Lapras VMAX only give up two prizes for getting KO'd. We can also use Shedinja with, like, Arceus to give up, one pri or give up no prizes. Same thing with, like, Volcanium Prism Star. Um, I got Mew in the deck, and I'm playing Kyogre. This is kind of the backup plan. If Arceus doesn't work, we can use Kyogre to high water. This also could be good in the late game. We can high water to our Lapras VMAX in the late game to build it up. So that's another option we have going for us. Uh, going to the items now, I've already went over the ball cards. We got two Great Catchers, one Arne Rod, uh, two Switches. Some other items I want to maybe play is Reset Stamp. Um, I got a Chaotic Swell and a Viridian. The Viridian is kind of just here to get you extra energy, but the Swell is here to also counter Pika. Pika is a pretty bad matchup for this deck, even though we have weak energy to kind of help us out. Pika is still really bad, so we just have Chaotic Swell to slow them down if we ever can. Uh, probably not the best thing to do, but whatever. Uh, I am playing a BD now. Uh, this is an experimental card, but it's kind of just here because it can get you an extra energy in play. We do play 10 energy, so sometimes we'll have 2 energy in our hand. So it's an experiment. I don't know if I quite like it yet, but it is what it is. We can also use BD with Sprint. So we have like a pseudo supporter on top of a supporter for turn. So this could get us like two energy in play if we combo it properly. Uh, I am playing for Cynthia for research one Marnie. I am playing two Malolanus to heal our Lapras VMAX. I am playing two Air Balloon. I am not playing any other tools because obviously the other tool we have is Shininja. Uh, but the Air Balloon is here to try to retreat into Arceus because of course if we start, if we don't start with Arceus, we need to be able to retreat into the Arceus so that we can attack with it. I am playing a weak guard energy for the lightning types and 10 waters to round out the list here. But this is my Lapras VMAX Arceus combo deck. Pretty cool little concept here. I think the Shedinja um, is kind of underrated in a format where there's a lot of three prizes. So you should probably consider playing Shedinja a lot more now. Just saying. Um, but yeah, let's check out this deck. Okay, guys, we're going to get into some games with this Lapras deck here with Arceus and stuff. We do have a new ladder with Pima Freeze, Juniper, and Darkrai EX. So it's actually worth it to play the ladder. We haven't had a ladder this good in a little bit. And also, it's cool that there's a good ladder. And alongside that, there is the new double versus rewards thing going on right now, which we haven't really had something like this in a while. All right, so I'm playing against a Mewtwo deck, I think. We're going to make them go first, just so they don't get, like, a turn one welder. 
And yeah, this is why I want to go first too, because we can also do a turn one first, or turn one training star. Assuming we can get everything. We do have a Kedex Well. We have a Quick Ball in our hand. Ooh, maybe we're playing against Reshiram. Okay, I'm actually down for this. I've just been noticing my elo's been wavering. I don't know why my elo's dropped. All right, let's see if we get a basic. All right, nice. Nice, nice. So we're going to quick ball here, probably for Sh Ninkata? We have a higher odds of finding a water Pokemon, but at the same time, I don't want to build up a water Pokemon. We need to build up Lapras. We have a research. We have a very, very good turn coming up here. Um, yeah, we have, we have a very good turn. We can bump their stadium. We can do a lot. And I think they're playing Reshiram. They could be playing something else. I'm assuming this is going to be a Reshiram deck, though. Which is fine. Reshiram caps at 270 damage. Let's see. They could be playing a Rayquaza GX deck. Who knows? Hopefully it's Reshiram, though. Because that's like a matchup we can win by just two shining them. And again, with Shedinja only giving up one prize, only giving up two prizes on our Lapras is one of the nice things I like about this little combo here. We just pass. There's another water. Okay, I am definitely going to get Ninkata. We have more water Pokemon than Ninkata. Let's just check our deck real quick. Denny's there. We got both Lapras's. Everything seems intact. I'm going to get back one energy just just because I can. I think that's pretty relevant. We'll see if we can find a uh, Lapras here. We do get one nice. And we got shit into for next turn. And yeah, here we go. Trinity Star turn one. Pretty sick stuff. We're going to get three energy on our Lapras. Now, in a matchup like this, we're probably never going to one-shot the uh, the Reshiram because we won't ever get enough energy on our Lapras VMAX because we need a lot of energy. And the only way to do that would be using Kyogre and Arceus together, which is not as efficient. So I don't know if we're going to go that right. We're probably just going to play the two-shot game. Our hand is not that great unless Great Ball can get mine, I was going to say. Unless Great Ball can get us his Blitzel or his Abstrika. Actually, I should have attached the Air Balloon to the Arceus. That was a misplay. Yeah, there's a great catcher. So that's actually, this is a good hand. We can get to Dene or, or yeah, Zipstrika. We can maybe do an early game great catcher. Oh, no, Rushy Rom. Hopefully they get something going here. I don't want to just run them over with Arceus. I don't want that to kind of be the thing with this. So hopefully they get something. We'll see, though. We did bump their stadium. We had, we had a very good start. This that was like the ideal turn one. There's a quick ball. Nice. They can get a Dedene or, an, or a Reshiram here or whatever other attackers they might have in their deck. Or whatever deck this is. It's probably going to be a Reshiram deck though. Yeah, it is. Okay, there's the Reshiram coming down. Let's see if they have a fire energy for it. The Ultra Space Pump was really good. Just now they don't have as many Poiples in play either. They, they also got, just got rid of a Poiple there. So like, that's not good for them. See what else they have. I've actually been maybe considering doing a video on this card. I actually have yet to do a video on Reshiram. So I'm thinking about doing a video on this again. Because Reshiram is not that great. But it could be like a fun little roguey budget deck. Not budget. Well, I guess a budget deck. It depends how many Dedenes you want to play. But it could be like a little fun deck to try out in standard. Okay, there's Switch. Let's see what this gets us. Slapras VMAX. We might actually be able to attack this thing. If we can, I guess not. Actually, we're one card off. Yeah, never mind. No, what am I saying? We can just retreat. That was a dirt moment. I am just gonna pay the energy. I don't really care. Uh, let's sprint here. Try to get maybe Shedinja. No, I'll take a Lapras. Malalon is gonna be really good in this matchup too. Maybe to heal. There's the air balloon. We'll put that on Arceus. We're just going to G-Max Pump. Again, I'm not going to try to play the long game and build up a Lapras V-Max to one-shot this, which we're never going to get to that point. We need another three energy on it. I don't think we're ever going to get there. I think we're just going to, in the meantime, try to build up another Lapras here. Maybe we can get, like, a Betty at some point. Malalon into another Lapras V-Max. We'll see where this goes. Well, I should have Pokecom for Shit Ninja, but they're not going to knock me out this turn, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. Ooh, Giant Bomb. Okay. I forgot they had that. I saw that in their mulligan. I should have remembered that. That actually could be pretty big. If they hit me here for even 180 damage. Uh, no, actually. No, they need to do 270. Never mind. 180 won't cut it. See if they have a uh, card in their hand that can get them out of this. It isn't. It's a research. All right. I'm glad they're still in the game. I don't want to just run them over. I want this to actually be like an actual like back and forth type of game. 
We'll see. They could play Zero Aura, which could be a big deal if we don't have weak energy. They could drop a Zero Aura on us, and that could knock out my Lapras in one hit because it does 160 damage. And they clearly play Lightning because they have Lightning in their deck. Oh, that could be Dedenne. Um, it would make no sense not to put a Zero Aura in this deck, though. Yeah, if you guys want to see a video on a Reshiram deck um, in our little format right now, let me know, and I am down to do a video on it. I am down to do a video on Reshiram. I'll probably play it with like Vitality Ban, maybe Shrine of Punishment, just to try to knock out ADP in one hit. But I am down to try a Rushy Ramen Standard. I am down to retry this. And I actually think Crossbreak could be pretty busted too if they don't play Mew. Which we do have, so we don't have to worry about Crossbreak. But yeah, I'm definitely down to do a video on this. If you guys want to see that, leave a comment down below if you want to see a video on Rushy Ram. Just, you know, it's it, it's just another video I can do, you know, just we need to, I need to be, you know, I need to have a bunch of videos for the month of April into May. Okay, so they can hit me here for 180, but we won't get knocked out by the giant bomb. 180, right? Yeah. So giant bomb will not KO us, which is pretty good. Oh, there's my Alana. Yeah, it's kind of a no-brainer not to do Malana here. I kind of feel bad, not gonna lie. They might just concede too, because we're knocking them out. Still no Shedinja. That's actually a bit of a worry. I was hoping that could get us a Shedinja there, just in case we do get knocked out. We have 260... We have... No, 160 HP. Never mind. <laughs> Forgot the Giant Bomb. They could knock out my Lapras here with a Reshiram and a Welder. Or an energy switch play. So that is pretty bad that we didn't get Shedinja there. Still don't think I can lose. Yeah, they just concede. There you go. Arceus, guys. Pretty good game there. We got the ideal setup that this deck is always trying to get. You know, get all those things down. Go for the Arceus play. Everything pretty much went our way that game, I would say. The Malana top deck was like the cherry on top, I think. To make that a little bit better. Not getting the Shedinja was a bit of an issue. Because we probably would have needed it there if they did decide to stick around. We probably needed the Shedinja. I think we have a... I think we have a, a chest to open up here. It's just a chest. We might as well open it up. Hey, we got a dangerous drill. Let me know. Right, we'll catch you guys in another match. Okay, guys, jumping into game numero two with this deck here. We'll see what we play against here Um, with this Lapras deck. We're up against a fighting deck and a metal. So it looks like we're playing Sta against Stan Jr. So it's going to be a battle of the V-Maxes. To be honest with you, they might actually be a bit harder to beat. Arceus is weak to fighting, which is pretty bad. We actually could get one shot. Uh, all right, I'm gonna make them go first. I don't like them getting the extra energy on, but again, we want to try to go for that turn one, turn one Arceus play. Okay, I'm gonna start with Blitz. So I know it's risky because like, oh, we're weak to fighting, but I don't want to start with Lapras and have it get damaged. Plus, if we hit an air balloon, we can move our Blitzel into Arceus instead of attaching Lapras so that we can put on the thing. But no, we're actually playing against a clay doll deck. Now I'm even more kind of sad we made them go first. Okay, that is a lot of water energy. <laughs> good thing we got Kyogre in the deck, which is a good thing. We bench a Groudon. Okay, well. This is going to be an interesting game for sure. Uh, they're going to put energy on Groudon. Yeah, they have dolls. Dolls could be kind of annoying. Arceus and... Volk can try to deal with those though, which is good. I think Volk might actually be a really good attacker in this matchup because we can break, potentially break the Clay Doll's HP barrier if they don't put Giant Charm on. There's a Cynthia. Yeah, I think I'd rather play the Cynthia here. I don't want to lose that much energy. I don't really care for the Great Catcher, but that's too much energy. Ah, oh, no. We whiff the Arceus. Uh, Blitzel should live the turn, so that's cool. I think we'll bench Kyogre and just pass. No energy attachment is unfortunate, but I was kind of expecting that to get us everything. If we got Arceus instead of Kyogre and we had energy there, we actually would have had the attack. So that kind of sucks. But Chaotic Swell is going to prevent them from benching, or benching, from playing their dojo. There it is. Nope. Okay, well. I spoke too soon, apparently, because now they get to play it next turn. We are playing a little bit on the slower side, right? It's going to take us a couple turns to get set up here because we didn't get that Arceus that turn. Uh, the only way they could knock me out is with... Yeah, they can't. There's no attackers in play that could knock out my Blitzel this turn. I don't like them getting the extra energy on the ball toy, though. We'll see if they have a Research or something. I'm assuming... Okay, they have a Marnie. Should have played the Air Balloon. 
should have played the air balloon. Because we might not get anything good off this. Never mind. We got everything we needed. Um, but we're going to have to get some strike, I think, off of this comm. Depending on what we draw, we might need Zip Strike. I could actually attack with Mew, and we can put 30 damage on the Ball Toy, which would break the Big Charm. That actually doesn't sound like a bad idea. There's the Escape Board on the Jirachi, but it's a little too late because they're going for Drow. Do they have two energy in their hand? Let's see. And they really don't. They don't have much where they do. They don't really have a good place to put the energy other than on their active. Oh my god, they actually had two energy. Okay, yeah, we're definitely gonna have to get Zip Striker here. But we actually could go to Dene instead. Yeah, let's go to Dene. I don't want to bench it, obviously, because, you know, it is Dene. But, when in doubt, you get more cards with Dene. There's Lapras VMAX. Still no Arceus, though, which is a little unfortunate. We're gonna go Cynthia. We still have Blit. We still have Zip Striker. To try to get the Arceus. Okay, come on, give me Arceus. No! Damn, that's unfortunate. Arceus, where are you at? Alright. Uh, we're just gonna have to go with the Kyogre then. Would Kyogre get knocked out? For now, anyways. That's unfortunate. They won't have Dojo activated, though, if they take a prize lead, which I'm actually fine with. You and before they draw something? Okay, good. Damn, that's really annoying. We almost had the combo there. Alright, let's see what we get here. Another energy. We haven't played a single Quick Ball yet. That would be a very good card to have right now. I might just go research. I think I will. I mean, we are going to lose a Malana, which is... I, yeah, I kind of wanted to keep it. There's the Arceus. We actually have a little bit extra energy here. All right, we're going to get rid of Bede. Yeah, sorry. You know what? I, maybe the Bede can go. I don't think we need it. Ooh. We do not have Volk in the deck. I was going to get Volcanian with this Quick Ball. Maybe that Mew play is actually relevant. I don't know. Alright, let's just go for Trinity Star here. Hit the ground on for a whopping 30 damage. And we can go one here. One here. And one here. I would have built a Volcanian there if we had it, but unfortunately it is not in the deck. This is fine though. They can attack me this turn, so we can safely retreat Arceus into Lapras, knock out this Groudon, and pray for the best. We did lose a Malolana, which I didn't want to lose. How much HP do they have again? 120. Yeah, so if we hit that with Mew, that would have been pretty nice. They do have Jirachi, so they could get out of this little lock I'm going to... Yeah. If we can knock out Jirachi, that'd be nice. We can't, though, unfortunately. They can go Stellar Wish. They can sit behind a doll, which is pretty relevant. Yeah, okay. We definitely need to get that... We need to get a Shininja here. Ordinary Rod. Don't really need that right now. We're going to retreat into Lapras for sure. Take a knockout here. We'll play the Cynthia. We're looking for Shininja here. There it is. Let's see what Great Ball gives us. There's Substrika. We have a Maulana too, which is pretty good. We can play that next turn and heal our Lapras. Maybe get another Lapras in play? Alright, where do we want to put the Shininja? We could put it on to Dene. So that it can't get Grey Catcher to knock out, possibly by a Psy Beam. I actually think that might be pretty good to do. But we can also put on the active so we don't give up three prizes. I think we're still going to go with the active play. I think that is still fine to do. We're going to knock him out here. If they do attack me with Claydol, we are going to Maulana. And we're just going to send this hand unless they Marnie me again. Until you know, we can Maulana heal. Alright, our setup has worked. Let's see if my opponent can win the game. These dolls are going to be very annoying because there's four of them and we have to go through four dolls. Boss's orders cannot come any soon, anytime sooner, or either that or they just take dolls out of the format altogether, which I would vote for. So they could hit me for 200 here if they do have everything. There's a dojo coming down. I think we have a Viridian still, right? 
Right? Yeah, still in the deck. Okay, we still have another counter stadium. Kind of wish I played two swells though instead of just a Viridian, but the Viridian is still really good to have in this deck, so pick your poison, I guess. So we're gonna have Alana away the quick ball and probably our top deck if they attack me here. We could use Arceus against these dolls too, which wouldn't be terrible either. I could also go Mew this turn. Then I'd have to play the Maulana prematurely without even using it, so I don't know if that's a good idea. But I actually don't mind doing Mew to break their little thing here. How much energy is left? If we have a Rod right eye, we're good. Alright, we're just gonna keep doing D Max, but we're gonna send the hand, whatever. We'll take these dolls out. They're gonna knock themselves out, or either that, or they're going to not knock themselves out. That didn't make any sense. Yeah, there's the big charm. That's why I wanted the Mew. But Mew could possibly tie the game at some point or something. Like, we definitely could use Mew against these clay dolls. Maybe the play there was to go Mew. I don't really know. I think if we ever get to a point where we maybe put them behind in their hat, they have to sit behind like a doll or something while they build up a clay doll. That would be the turn where we go Mew. Uh, they did get Catcher. They could knock out Zipstrika, or they could knock out Lapras if they get heads here. Oh, and they do! No, that's devastating. That is really bad. <sighs> they actually get the knockout. Maybe should have benched the Ninkata. Ah, that's a rip. I could take the Mew knockout this turn, though, which I don't mind doing. I don't mind that. We need to get a water energy off the top deck, though. Oh, okay. They're actually going to go with the Lily's Doll. Okay. This is still really awkward, though, because I don't want to use this Maulana. Maybe I should just retreat. Yeah, I'm going to retreat. I'm still fine with sit on this hand. They're just not fine energy, it looks like. I guess that Groudon really kind of cost them there. But they've only played four. That's not that much energy. All right. They're building up that clay doll now. Now they can go for their explosion. And then we're going to Maulana sprint, probably. Yeah, we... We should have enough supporters left to survive. We have 15 cards left. Or I could just play research, but I'm gonna Maulana and then maybe try to go Mew and uh, knock out the Clay Doll with Mew. I do want to use Mew though at some point in this game. I think that could be really valuable. Just putting 30 damage on a ball toy could be huge because then they can't use Explosion with that Clay Doll. I'm really surprised they didn't get the knockout on my Lapras there, though. I was like, oh no, Lapras goes down. And then they gotta do is take out Lapras VMAX and then, like, Dedenning or something to win the game. Okay, another Quick Ball coming down there. Gotta get another Bolt away. There's another Big Charm. They can go for the Explosion here. Which will do only 220 damage thanks to the Dojo not working. So that's pretty nice. And we can heal. Oh, 230? Oh, yeah, the dojo adds extra 10. Derp. Okay, let's go Maulana. We'll get rid of Research and Inkata. Now we can send this hand, actually. It's fine. And we'll G Max Pump knock out the Claytol. And we'll see what our prize is here. So, Viridian. Perfect. We can counter their stadium. And we can get energy. So, we could do that Mew play if we can hit. Um, another Shedinja here. We do have turn change piece, so they could knock me out if they have a Karate Belt. Oh, nothing to mind. They already have the Charm on. But they can knock me out any time now. But we can, uh, we're gonna side power this thing if we can hit the Shedinja. I don't know where I want to put the Ninkata. I guess we'll put it on the Lapras. Just have both Laprases shedinja up. We still need to build this guy back up too. But we have the Kyogre. We have the Ornay Raw. We have Arceus in play still. So, we're chilling. I guess we can't use Arceus unless we have Ninkata in play. I guess that's relevant. Bumping the Dojo is good because then Psybeam can't one-shot my uh, 
my thing, my Mew. They've already played a Shine and a Dojo. Hopefully they don't have any more Dojos left. They probably have four stadiums though. And they've only played three of them. If they don't have a doll here, we can take another prize, which is good too to speed us up. Let's see. I mean, the Viridian does give them the extra energy, but I think no matter what, they will find energy. So I, I don't think it matters to put the Viridian in play. Plus that dojo is actually kind of bad for us. Ooh, they're gonna let me knock out Baltoy? Interesting. Well, I guess, yeah, no matter what, they don't use Strachi. Oh, we drew weak guard energy. I right, just do this. I hate drawing all these energies. So it's quick ball. Just to burn the deck, we have a few things left. So we can knock them out, they get two prizes, or we can do the Mew play now. We can always wait to do the Mew play too, I guess, which is fine. Now maybe we would have gotten it there. I want to find my Ordinary Rod too. So I guess we just get knocked out here. But because Shedinja's on, they're only going to be taking two prizes, which is why I like the Shedinja with the V-Maxes, because they're only taking two prizes for the knockout. There's a Volcanian. Kind of a little too late to use it, I think. Well, I guess we could, if we get Ornay Rod here, we could Ornay Rod and then do Trinity Star and build a Volcanian. And maybe not, we don't have enough energy. We'd have to go Kyogre. There's a doll coming down. Amiibo instance gets played. Discarded. They get another energy, of course. Okay, so they will go explosion. They will KO my poor Lapras. Actually, if this if this thing wasn't in play, they wouldn't have the knock. They would not have had the knock on my Lapras. Maybe if we played in DDV, they wouldn't be able to knock me out either. But it's a very good chance they have another dojo in the deck. Maybe I should have. No, never mind. I was, I was thinking like maybe we could have held the Viridian, but there's no way because we would have discarded it that turn. Forgot we uh, had to play it before we did the research. But yeah, the Verdian actually could come and clutch up some point to get an energy out of the deck. This might be their only other clay doll left. And again, if they sit behind a doll, our game plan could be spam Psy Power, which should win us the game because we just Psy Power put damage on their both voice. And we should be fine from there. Maybe we should Shedinja. We could actually put Shedinja back in the deck with Ornate Rod. I think we have to get back a Kyogre, though. That's the only unfortunate thing. We do have another... Uh, we can put, I guess we could put back, no, we, it would have to be Kyogre and something else. We'd have to put back a Ninkata and Shedinja if we wanted the, Nink, the Shedinja line. Because we only play a 3-2 Shedinja line, so it's not going to work that way. We have to put back Kyogre, because we need it at some point. Now, let's see. But yeah, hopefully we can go for the Mew. Hopefully we actually have a Shedinja in the deck. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure we have one in the deck. And they are going to take a knockout. But again, our Shedinja is coming in huge because it's allowing them to only take two prizes. I, I can't, no, we, we can find Shedinja by playing Ornate Rod. I forgot. We, top deck and Ornate Rod here would be so, so, so good. Yeah, they didn't get a Bolt Toy down either, which is nice. Because they could have maybe like Karate Belted or something crazy. I don't know. Alrighty then. Two prizes for knocking out my VMAX. That's hilarious. No Ornate Rod. Alright, let's do this. We'll play the Great Ball. We should have a Shininja in the deck, right? Oh, we don't. So our last Shininja is indeed prized. Good to know. Oh no, actually, we're, we're gonna get back maybe Lapras v Mexico here. Depends on what our prize is. Let's see. Let's go side Power. We'll check out what our prize is. As long as Mew doesn't get knocked out next turn, we can just keep spamming their Ball Toys and punishing them from doing their Explosion Attack. Okay, it's a Blitzel. Not a Shedinja. I do. I need to get back the Shedinja so we can Shedinja the Mew. I think then we have to get back Kyogre and Shedinja, but we also need Lapras back because we prize for our Lapras. Surprises are a little awkward right now. Our prizes are kind of awkward. Okay. How many Quick Balls do they play? They've played all their Quick Balls, so it's pretty po There's a chance that they don't get a Baltoy down this turn unless there's already one in their hand or something. They have to play a supporter to get Baltoy, I guess. But yeah, there's a chance they don't get Baltoy here. You have to put both Baltoys back. So yeah, they need one. But even if they bench it, of course, we can hit it with Psy Power and try to knock it out. Or try to at least set it up so that if they go for the explosion, they knock themselves out. 
That's why I want the Shedinja on the Mew so that it doesn't give up a prize card. I think that's really good. But then I guess Lapras VMAX gets KO'd and we lose. But that's like worst case scenario. I don't know. I think we'll be fine to win the game. The dolls are definitely annoying, but we can Psy Power and prevent them from being able to Explosion. I wish I did Psy Power a little bit earlier, though, in this video. I think that would have been nice doing a little bit earlier in the game. Ooh, they have a great catcher. We do have Air Balloon. We have another Switch, right? Yeah, we're chilling. Their catchers can't do much. Let's see if they actually played onto Dene here. Or they can wait to save it so that they can do it later on down the road. If they waste it, then they might have to... If their win condition is with catcher, they might have to rely on Pokemon catcher. And they've already gotten one head, so maybe the other one won't get a head. So it might be better for them to save the great catcher instead of burning it. But they might burn it because they know I'm low on cards. They might not think I have anything left to move my Dedene. There's a possibility that is the case. So yeah, we're going to Ornay Rod, back Kyogre, and Lapras. We could just get back Shedinja Lapras, because I feel like one Lapras can still carry us to a game. Hmm. I don't know. Yep, they are going to burn the Great Catcher early, which is nice. If they don't get a Baltoy this turn, that will be kind of awkward, because I don't really know what I want to attack with, unless I can top deck a Lapras VMAX. Or if I can top deck my Ornay Rod. Sorry. They could Marnie me here. Oh, they're going to research. Okay, so they're definitely going to get a Baltoy here. They actually have to lose another Claydol, though. And another Energy, so... That's nice. Yeah, they're going to get the Baltoy. There's the big charm, but we are going to break that with our Mew. Let's see if they go into the doll, and they are going to go into the doll. Cool beans. No ordinary rod top deck today. Do we want to go switch? I think we're going to save the switch. The switch might be more important if they like confuse me or something. I'm going to hit that guy. We're probably going to get knocked out here. Maybe not by Psybeam though. That's what I'm hoping is not what happens if they don't knock me out with Psybeam here. I don't want them to have to kill me with Psybeam. I want to make it awkward for them and have to do Explosion. So I'm hoping they don't have another Martial Arts Dojo. They do have three cards left, so I mean, at this point, a deck out scenario maybe could be possible. I really wish we had Orne Rod, though, because I would have liked to have already played Viridian and gotten another energy and got this guy fully built up. Especially if they do get a Dojo, then we don't get access to Viridian. So it makes it really awkward. And before they play, like, Potion or something, like, not Last Chance Potion, but just, like, a regular Potion, because it got reprinted, so maybe they play it. If not, they're going to knock themselves out, and then at that point, I don't think we can lose. Especially because we can also then rot our Mew back. Assuming it's our last, not our last card here. If it is, that's going to be super annoying. We're still, like, not going to lose if it is our last card, obviously, but it would just really suck if the Ordinary Rod is indeed our last card. All right, they're going for it. Do they have a Martial Arts Dojo in their two-card hand? That's what I would not like to see because I don't want to get knocked out by Psybeam. Oh, if they do Explosion anyways, they do knock themselves out. I'm just praying. Yeah, they, they knock themselves out and they don't have a doll, then we win the game. So, a dojo would be terrible right about now. Okay, nice. This is why I also held the switch. Hey, let's go. We topped a decked the Ordinary Rod Lego. I guess we could just get back Shin and Joe. We don't really need Kyogre anymore, do we? Yeah, especially because we're probably going to switch. Sure. Shedinja might save our hides. Now we have to find the Lapras here. So we can retreat because we still have another energy left. Let's do the Cynthia first. I don't want to burn too many cards. I don't want to get decked out. Those dolls could still be a problem. Okay, we got the Lapras. This is why I'm holding on to the Switch, too, because of that side beam attack. And this should be game. So they can't get a doll down, obviously, which can buy them another turn. We have three cards left. The only thing I could lose to at this point are the dolls, but there's only two left. Maybe they price a doll too. 
Okay, there's one. We could get decked out to Marnie too if I'm not careful. We do have to put Shedinja on this thing though so we don't lose. Yep, there's the first doll. Hopefully they don't have two in the deck. Uh, man, I hate dolls so much. Uh, I really hope we don't lose to these dolls. That's going to be such an annoying pest. Wait. Oh no, I had game there. No, I had game. What am I doing? <laughs> I know all you guys are in the comments right now. I had game. Okay, we can... Uh, if you're... Uh, I could have went Shedinja, Volk, Sauna Blast, or Jet Geyser. Oh no. I don't think I'm going to lose though, still. Like, not this turn anyways. Oh, that was silly. Why did not I do that? I think we still had this game about wrapped up, but damn. That was a silly misplay. I should have... Why did I do that? It looks like we still have game. Yeah, that's going to be game. We're going to get him in the well played. I would have won a turn earlier if I if I got that interaction there with Shedinja and Volcanian. It is what it is. You live and you learn from your mistakes. Didn't cost us the game though, thankfully, which is good. That will wrap up the day's PC video, guys. I think on the Lapras VMAX Arceus Shedinja deck. It's a really cool concept. Um, the Shedinja made all the difference there, I think, allowing your Lapras to not get knocked out um, and give up three prizes is really good. Only giving up two prizes for being KO'd is a lot better than giving up three. So a really cool concept here. The Arceus turn one. All that cool stuff. But yeah, I think the wrap of the day's future for you guys on the deck. If you enjoyed it, leave a like on the video, subscribe down below. If you are new to the channel, help me on the road to reaching 8,000 subscribers or 7,800 subs. And of course, make sure to check out our sponsor, Car Cabin TCG. As always, guys, use code LDF for the checkout if you get any codes there. You can also buy and you can sell your codes there if you have any codes you don't want to use. You can trade them in a Car Cabin TCG for cash or in store credit. And yeah, follow me on Twitter down below too. And I'll see you guys later.